Hey guys, it's been a while, but welcome back to another Hyperbuild video. This time we got something special that we know you guys are gonna love because one of you is gonna walk away with it. That's right, we're gonna be building a brand new PC to celebrate Intel Gamer Days. And what better way to celebrate the gamers than by giving one of you guys a brand new PC? Wait, what? There's more. That's right, we're gonna be giving you a brand new gaming monitor too. You heard right, one lucky viewer is gonna win a brand new setup. Sponsored by Intel. Let me finish. <laughs> you heard right, one lucky viewer is gonna win a brand new setup. Built by us, sponsored by Intel Gaming. So make sure to give a big thanks to Intel. It's part of the giveaway, so make sure to check the description below for details. All right, so it's been a day and this is what we've been up to. We got two motherboard trays out of Veloxes, we sanded them down, and then we painted them white. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want these Veloxes to be just a little bit more unique for this giveaway. So we already have a couple layers on here, but I'm starting to see some imperfections. So what we're gonna do next is, we're gonna hit it one more time, we're gonna let it dry, sand it down, and we will repeat this process as much as I see necessary. All right, so the reason why we have two is just in case we mess up. But also, we wanted to test out a splatter effect and we're not sure how that's gonna turn out. So just in case it looks like we're probably just gonna stick with white. We tried it, it looks like so we're just gonna stick with white. But it's looking good so far and we're pretty happy with how it turned out. So we're gonna paint and sand this and then we're gonna get it put back together so that we can get started on the actual build. I hope you guys are excited for this because this thing's gonna look sick. All right, well, here it is. This is the finished product. I think this look, this just white motherboard tray looks way better than the splatter. It has a much more premium look to it. And we really didn't want to take away from the parts that were going in this. Uh, in this case, <laughs> less is more. And speaking of parts, why don't we talk about those? So just to keep the color scheme consistent, we wanted to use some white parts to make this look even cooler. And it just so happens that our good friends at ASUS have those parts. So, big thank you to ASUS for giving us a hand once again. Here's the motherboard, the Maximus Z690 formula. And for the CPU, we're gonna be using the 12900K. We won't be overclocking this thing, but if you decide to, you can do so with confidence because of the custom VRM cooling. Next up is the GPU. We all know what this is about. It's an RTX 3080. It's big, it's powerful, we get it. But the unique thing about this one is that ASUS provides a powerful platinum ring so that you can feel like a champ right after you win the giveaway. And finally, the power supply. It's an ROG Strix 850 watt. We're not so sure if we wanna use these white cables or if we wanna use something else. So we're just gonna to have to see once we get to that point. Welcome to Hyperbuild. All right, so we just put in the motherboard and we got the radiator, the box fish, our pump res basically. We call this thing a box fish um, because it's a square and fishes swim in water and we're water cooling. So everything just kind of goes together, right? Funny, funny. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Another cool thing, this thing has hot swap bays. You know how hard it is normally to install a hard drive? Like you would have to unscrew the bracket and then screw the hard drives in. In this case, you don't have to do that. You just pop these out, pull this. You're still gonna have to screw your hard drive in, but you just put in this tray and you slide the tray back in, your hard drive's good to go, or your SSD for that matter. This needs to be like a feature for like, just standard in like every single case, because this, this is such a lifesaver. Yeah, I got this thing, like the screwdriver is kind of cool. <laughs> it's not really powerful, but at least I don't have to keep twisting my wrist and you know, my, my poor my poor gamer wrists already have carpal tunnel playing games and I don't want to make it worse. See, look at that. Well, I mean. It's good, it's, 
it's there. I mean, it wasn't too expensive, so I don't expect too much out of it. Performance anxiety, all right? Normally, right, because it's normally black, like a lot of these cables don't stand out as much. Like normally if in a black case, like, I don't know, can you see that? That one single cable back there, that, that one cable. If the case was black, you wouldn't even notice it. It would just blend in, but because it's white, it stands out so much more. Like these cables, everything's gonna stand out. So like everything needs to be perfect. A lot of this wiring, like if it were a little bit looser, it probably wouldn't look as good. All of here, here, like, you know, the power cables aren't in yet, so we're still not sure what we're gonna use, but I think that looks good. Or I can organize it a, a bit, I guess, but. Uh, how does that look? No? Did it come with cable combs? It didn't? All right, let's see. Ooh, there's a bag of goodies. Oh, that's just, oh, oh, wow. Comes with a magnet. No cable combs. Okay, so I guess that's, I guess this works, right? Right like this. Does that look fine? Nope. Oh no, that doesn't. Yeah, no, we're probably just gonna use our own exotics. Um, it's kind of cool, but. All right, so we got the power supply in and then, now I gotta put the uh, GPU in. But yeah, I mean, gonna get this in so I can get all my cables down. And then after that, after we get all the cables in, it should be just ready for the tubing. Holy moly, there are a ton of peels. Is that all of it? Yeah, so there's one here, here, here. There's one on like literally every single metal piece that you see, there's a peel. They're everywhere. So if you like peeling things, or if you don't, just know that there are a ton. There's, they're everywhere. I think I got that one. There's one on the fans. There we go. All right, so we got the front. Now we gotta get the back. Put that back in. And now the really big back side. If I can just get it. So there we go. And then there's this front piece right here. That's super stretchy. And I know I totally missed the piece over there. And another piece right here. And then these metal pieces have it as well. Whoop. I think that's it. Oh, wait. <laughs> and another one right here. I think that's it. But wait, there's more. Oh wait, there's one more right here. Oh wait, there's one more right here that I totally missed. There's more. Uh oh. I think that's it, right? You see any more? I don't see any more. All right, that's it. Let's go in. Everything looks pretty good, if I say so myself. Um, after this, I just went ahead and did all the tubing. So I'm gonna show it to you guys now. All the tubing's in there. It looks pretty good. Nice, nice. Nice. So we decided to go with blue fluid because Intel is blue. So we're gonna dye it and then we're just gonna get this filled and do the first boot. So hopefully everything works. All right, that seems like a decent amount. Let's mix that up a bit, see how it looks. Blue. Just want to do double check to make sure everything is is tight, so nothing nothing leaks, because that would be very unfortunate if I had a leak. Seems like everything is nice and tight. So I'm gonna get the fluid, and then we're just gonna be ready to fill now. All right, so I got it partially filled, but I'm gonna finish the job. Uh, we just need to turn on let the fluid work its way through. Oh, is it on? That's not it. Where's the button? It's over here. Is it over here? Where's the switch? There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, it actually looks really cool. <laughs> Did I plug it in right? Ha, huh, I backwards it. All right, now it'll turn on. Ha, huh, see? Easy fix. Uh, ooh, that looks pretty good. That pump is really loud. There we go. Okay, cool. And then we're gonna put these back on, get this back in there, screw it down. I'll screw it down later. It's just so you guys have something to look at right now. We're gonna let this run for maybe a couple hours and then come back, top it off. 
after some of the air bubbles have worked their way out. And then we'll be on to the beauty shots for you guys. All right, that does it for the build. And we want to give a big thanks to Intel for sponsoring the giveaway and ASUS for sponsoring these parts. And remember, Intel Gamer Days starts on August 25th, but you can start entering the giveaway right now in the description below. Remember guys, the giveaway isn't just for this PC, it's also for this monitor too, and this platinum ring. Good luck, but I already see the winner. It's right there. You're right there, I see you with the headphones sitting right there in front of the computer watching. I see you, you're watching this, you're gonna win.